Have a nice day everyone. Today I'm going to tackle about how to solve square root manually. Of course, solving a square root with the use of calculator is so easy. Just type the number and press the square root sign and then you already have the answer. But there are cases uh, wherein, uh, like for example, when you are taking examinations and the uh, use of calculator is prohibited and uh, you are solving about the square root. So this will be of great help for you. So for example, square root of 7921, first step to that is group by twos, and then get the square root of 79, that's 8, 8 times 8 is 64, subtract 79 minus 64, that will give you 15, then bring down 21. Now this 8 multiplied by 20, that is 160. Then think of a number that you're going to add to 160 and then multiply by that number so that it will be 1521. So my answer here is 9. 160 plus 9 is 169. Multiply by 9, that's 1521. So I will put there 9. I'll subtract 1521 and the answer is 0. Therefore, the square root of 7,121 is 89. So fast, I will discuss more in details. But before that, let's go first to that intro. So, let's uh, <coughs> discuss uh, little by little. So how to solve square root manually? What are the uh, informations that we need? So we need the perfect squares like 4, 9, 16, 25, 49, and 36. So where did we get that? It's simply as 1 times 1 equals 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, 7 times 7, 9 times 9 is 81. So we need this uh, single digit multiply. Uh, uh, table of multiplication because whenever we have square root of 4 the answer we get is 2 because 2 times 2 is 4 same thing square root of 9 is 3 because 3 times 3 is 9 square root of 36 is 6 and the square root of 64 is 8 square root of 81 is 9 square root of 100 is 10 but we don't need this 10 because this is two digit number so we need only we need only the numbers 1 to 9. 1, 4, 9. Let's put that on the side. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, and 81. So, first, uh, let's uh, have about, uh, let's uh, solve first the square roots of zeros, numbers and zeros. So, for example, 400. Square root of 400 is so easy. Just group by twos. By the way, grouping by twos is, uh, you know, uh, start from the decimal point. So, you know, 400, the decimal point must be after the ones digit. So, group that by twos. So, separate the two zeros and then the four. And then, the square root of 4 is 2. And the square root of z uh, 0 is 0. Therefore, the square root of 400 is 20. Same case with uh, number with many zeros, 90,000, just group by twos from the decimal point, 0, 0, 9. Square root of 9 is 3, square root of 0 and 0. Therefore, the square root of 90,000 is 300. What about if decimal? So same cases by twos because uh, the square root is uh, the power of 2. So from the decimal point going right by twos and by twos and then the square root uh, zero is zero to the two zeros is zero square root of one is one therefore the square root of that is zero point zero one same case we have uh, zero point zero zero four nine so group by twos then zero zero seven and that's point zero zero point zero seven. Okay. Now, whole numbers. Let's proceed with how to solve square root manually if these are whole numbers. So, step one, group into twos or group by twos from the decimal point. So, two, five, one, and then six. Now, six. Think 
uh, where is 6 located? So 6 is located between 4 and 9. So we are going to use the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is 2. And then we will do 2 times 2 equal 4. And we will do there a subtraction. 6 minus 4 equal 2. And then bring down 25. Now, this is a special case because we multiply this 2 by 20. This 20 or 20 is a constant number. Always 20 or whatever number you, whatever uh, quotient or whatever root you get here, always multiply by 20. So, 2 times 20 is 40. Now, this is the part wherein you're going to think of two numbers. No, one number with two operations. What number am I going to add to 40? And then I'm going to multiply uh, to the sum. So I will give away, I will get 225. So in this case, I will add 5. 40 plus 5 is 45. And then 45 times 5 is 225. And then I will put this 5 there. And then I will subtract 225 here. And then 225 minus 225 is 0. Therefore, the square root of 625 is 25. Let's have one more example. A little bigger number. Square root of 2,229. Step 1, group by 2s. Square root of 22 is here. So we will get square root of 16. Square root of 16 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 22 minus 16 is 6. Bring down 0, 9. Now, 4 times 20. 4 times 20 is 80. 80 plus. So what do you think? So there are two numbers or, uh, yeah, two, two numbers that you're going to choose. That ends with 9. 3 times 3 is 9. 7 times 7 is 49. What else? 9 times 9 is 81, no? So you only have two choices, 3 or 9, or 3 or 7. So here it's 7, 80 plus 7 is 87, 87 times 7 is 609, therefore the square root is 47. Okay, can you try? Give you 5 minutes to try this too, try it for yourself. You can get paper and pencil to solve. Okay, if you need more time, pause the video. Now let's skip. You can pause the video uh, while solving and then later check what's the correct answer. So, the first one is 1024 and the answer is 32. The second one is 7056 and the square root of that is 84. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I hope you learned something today. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell button. And if you can join, thank you very much. To God be the glory. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day.